Hi everyone, I'm here to review the experience of drinking a rum and coke while playing the video game Life Force for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now you might be asking yourself why would anyone be reviewing the experience of playing Life Force while drinking a rum and coke? And the answer there is that they're both incredibly common. You can expect to find a rum and coke anywhere there's a bar, and you can expect to find a copy of Life Force or Radius or really any game that looks exactly like this for a multitude of consoles. Now my first sip of the rum and coke was just prior to hitting start and joining in on a single player campaign. Listen to me talking like it's 2015 and I'm playing a modern game. But the first sip of the rum and coke was very uh, coke-like. It tastes mostly coke, probably because the rum is still at the bottom there. And the coke is still at the top. But you taste the coke right away. And you can feel the bubbles on the back of your throat and on your tongue. And that's really one of the reasons we all drink Coke, isn't it, for that sensation. Now notice, while I'm talking about the rum and Coke I just died, uh, similar to the bubbles in a Coca-Cola, Coca that wall came out of nowhere and crushed me. Like the foam of a Coca-Cola after you shook it up too much. I'm dodging these bullets. Now I'm trying to take a break here to have another sip. There we go. It's not often in a game like Life Force you get that much time to yourself to take a sip of rum and coke. But I have to say that Life Force is a giving game. They must have considered while making this game the possibility that someday someone might be needing to drink a rum and coke and looking for a game to play. And they said, let's put in some pause spots. Some spots where the action pauses. And that's where the person can drink the rum and coke. Alright, well that game over is just my first. And I have to say the game is difficult, so don't judge me too much. I haven't played it in a while. But that gives me time for another sip of that delicious rum and coke. I used a dark rum, and honestly, I prefer it. But this time, it was the only option. It was the only one I had at the bar. You might have noticed at the bottom here that as I'm collecting these items, see, I'll collect this one, and that little set of bars at the bottom keeps building up. Now it says Ripple. That means that I've gotten a new weapon. And should I choose to use it, I just hit the A button and it turns it on. So this is what Ripple does. Doesn't do anything to that. That's what Ripple doesn't do. Now Ripple reminds me of when I was pouring this Coke over my shot of rum, there were ripples in the glass. All right, let's see. Do I have time for another sip? Apparently I didn't. The game was giving once, but not again. All right, let's give it one more try and see how far I can get this time. But the rum and coke is still holding up. I like to drink rum and cokes uh, fairly slow at a metered pace. I don't know. I know some people like to drink them fast, but when you're playing a game like Life Force, <laughs> nothing else goes fast. Only Life Force goes fast. And also your interest in the game due to its severe difficulty. That goes quickly. Wow. Also due to the cheap nature of those things. But I should have known. Last time I would have noticed that they didn't grow completely over at the top. Perhaps I was distracted. 
by my rum and coke. All right, here's a stretch. I'm going to take a sip. Oh, using the right thumb to control the character while sipping rum and coke with your left hand. That is quite nice. Setting the rum and coke down, making sure that it doesn't fall off the table. Look at how smooth that was. That was nice. This game was made to be played while drinking rum and cokes. I truly have to say that this experience was positive. Now, if I were to provide a truly critical review, however, I would be marking it down points for the difficulty of the game, and also the generic nature of the game, the fact that really there's a lot of games like this. They all play very similarly, although tight controls are very common. The difficulty is brutal. And the rum and coke is common, which kind of takes away from the experience of the beverage. I think the rum and coke is not my favorite drink, but it's the type of thing that if I'm at a cheap bar, I'll buy because you know they've got them. Also, if I'm traveling and didn't happen to bring my copy of Life Force with me, I can probably find a copy somewhere. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and be sure to like, comment, or subscribe. Thank you.